we're going to intersect two non-parallel planes, and planes, uh, they're defined by their normal and a point inside of them, and you have non-parallel planes if your normals are not scalar multiples of each other. So if your normals are not parallel, your planes are not parallel. That will also be true for anti-parallel normals. Your planes would be parallel. So we're going to assume the planes are non-parallel, and we'll draw what this looks like, one plane here, and the other plane is going to cut through it. Like this, and the intersection is going to be a line. We'll use L T. So how we get this line, we're going to take the two normals. So we have one normal sticking up. Call it N1, normal 2, over. And we need to get a vector that is perpendicular to both normals. And all we do is cross them. So slope, use V for the slope. So we just do n1 dot uh, cross n2. You could normalize that depending on what you need to do, but I'm not going to here. And then we also have to get a point on the plane. I just drew a point right here. Call it p naught. So a slope and a point p naught on both planes. You are solving a linear system to, uh, with two equations. So you're going to have, you can also see by the picture, one free variable. You could be anywhere on this line right here. So that would be one degree of freedom or one free variable. Uh, what we're going to do is, because there will be a free variable, we'll get to pick one of the three coordinates. And we're going to pick a coordinate uh, that makes our system much easier. So we're going to intersect these two planes in the example. So first plane, 3x minus 6y minus 2z equals 15, and 2x plus y minus 2z equals 5. All right, we'll go for the normal first. When they're written like this, you can see the, right here, those coefficients, those make up the normal. So N1, normal 1, is going to be 3, negative 6, negative 2. And 2 is 2, 1, negative 2. I'm just taking the coordinates off of the x, y, z uh, terms. We will deal with those constants in a minute when we find our point in common. And just looking ahead... I usually will pick either x, y, or z to equal zero, and then you have two equations and two unknowns, much easier to solve. And I pick the coordinate that makes the system look the most simple to solve. I'll probably want to keep my z coordinate because it's super easy to eliminate z with elimination. So I'll probably just let y equal zero. All right, we're going to cross these two right now, n1 and n2. Let's put up i, j, K determinant 3, negative 6, negative 2, 2, 1, negative 2. So, row 1, we have negative 6, negative 2, 1, negative 2, minus J, 3, negative 2, 2, 2, plus K, 3, negative 6, 2, 1.
Alright, 12 plus 2 is 14. Careful with the double negatives, that's why we got positive there. Minus 6 plus 4. K term is 3 plus 12. Of course, is our V, our slope of our line. 14, negative 10, 15. All right, all we need now is one point in common. So we're going to go back up to the original two equations and find our point in common. So I'll rewrite them. Three x minus six y minus two z. Equals fifteen. And two x plus y minus two z. Equals five. All right. I'm going to use our z-coordinate, because they're easy to eliminate, by subtracting equations. Let's go ahead and let y equal 0. So that's going to completely eliminate our y terms. I'm choosing y to equal 0. I can do this because I know there will be a free variable in this system. I don't want to go into too much of what that uh, means, but if we look at that intersection, it's going to be a line, and you're going to get to choose, there'll be one degree of freedom, and you can choose one of the coordinate values. Generally choose it to equal zero. All right, so we got just 3x minus 2z equals 15, 2x minus 2z equals 5. I'm going to go with just elimination here, subtract to eliminate my z's. 3 minus 2, 1x equals 10. And I could back substitute if I want to, which is take 10 and put it in one of the x values. So we got 2 times 10 minus 2z equals 5. I'm just substituting. 20 5 minus 20 is negative 15. So it's equal to 15 over 2. So writing all these together, P naught, 10 for x, y0, 15 halves. Do not be scared if you get fractions here, although fractions always suck. Uh, we made a choice right here. I chose that zero. If I would have chosen zero somewhere else, I may not have gotten fractions, uh, but you're making a choice here, so just be aware that likely your choice will include some amount of fractions.